Hey, how's everybody doing? It's me, Dangio Gigante, bringing you another amazing assassination done by yours truly. Now, this hit was done, of course, on Corleone, the family we all know and hate and don't understand why. I mean, it's probably because this guy wanted to disappear for about maybe two or three years, come back and try to act like he runs everything, which we all know he doesn't. His members don't know how to protect him. He's always getting whacked. I have like maybe three or four videos of him getting whacked. Our first assassination on him was called J.C. Penny. Uh, a couple of other families have whacked him, of course. You know, instead, instead of um, trying to admit that he doesn't run anything, he wants to pretend he's this, you know, big tough guy. So, in this video, you're going to see me, you know, try to get towards J.C. But the problem was, J.C. was running his members fought but he ran so i'm just you know trying to get a car i don't have a car i think i practically could have ran to the fucking airport or something or to the uh you know to the place to get a helicopter but i stayed you know and i went on around them just like all the times like we've done hits on them and i'm trying to like you know do this without them running away without them using any type of third party help, any BS. But in this video, you're gonna see a lot of exposures and stuff, you know, and it's like, let me tell you about Corleone. Before I started doing Mafia stuff, I would watch YouTubes about Mafia. I needed to get a name for myself, so I didn't know what name to pick. Corleone's had a YouTube back then. So I used to watch their videos and stuff like that. I think they whacked a banana. That was the name I was gonna pick, but not. So I watched Corleone's, you know, they were doing whatever, you know. But this was around 2011. Their channel wasn't up that long. I don't think their families are 09 or 010. And if they are, then, you know, you gotta have some type of proof. You can't just be you talking out your ass. One of my old members, he tells me that uh, Corleone started in 2011. And I guess that's it. I don't know what else to say about that. But um, I never wanted to disrespect him or anything. But, buddy... You can't go away for two or three years, come back and act like you run shit. It's not going to happen like that. I don't care how OG you are. You stay in and you fight. That's what we did on GTA 4. Yeah, we had to deal with modders and booters and, you know, all this crap getting frozen. Oh, my God, getting frozen was disgusting. And we still dealt with it, you know, but you guys couldn't handle the heat. So, you know, you got out the kitchen and you let the chefs handle the cooking, all right? And that's what we did. We handled it. You know, now you guys want to go back in the kitchen, but, you know, different recipe now, buddy. And that's what you got to understand, different recipe. Now, as you can see, I get my car. I drive to this helicopter. This is an attack helicopter. We've been using this in GTA 4 for transportation, of course, because the Mavericks were hard to get. They're trying to tell me that I can't drive this. I can't fly this, sorry. Remember, guys, you fly helicopters, you don't drive them. So, anyways, they're saying I can't fly this. So, I'm like, all right, whatever. They try to use um, homing missiles on these helicopters and stuff. I understand it's an attack helicopter, but no one uses it. No one uses the guns on this. No one. Maybe the buzzard, yeah, but no one uses the guns on this. So, I don't know what your excuse was for me using this. Anyways, um, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to fly over there, trying to get JC... And I noticed that there's a couple of people squatting around him and everything. I gotta get him. And it has gotta be quick, you know, because if not, then I'm gonna stay up there too long and they're gonna come after me. So, you know, I'm up here. I think I'm by my lonesome at the moment. I'm just waiting. I'm looking for him. Not to be found. And, you know, I had no problem with Corleone. Corleone came in the game one day, shot at me, told me he whacked me, and I was like, Bro, you don't even know the fucking rules. So I told him the rules. He got pissed off or whatever. He's been trying to whack me ever since. And if not, we've been going after him ever since. And he just can't admit the fact that, you know, we got him legit. No problems at all. But, you know, that's how he wants to say it. Then that's how he wants to say it. He keeps telling me that I got whacked. But the funny thing is, they go by some illegitimate crap. I don't know what they go by. It's some type of rules that they make up on their own. A lot of people think that each commission can make up rules. That's fine. Make up rules. But it has to pertain to the community. You can't just make up rules that are outside of the community's rules. It doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to leave the game after you do a hit. You're not supposed to hide off the map. You can't be using sport cars. They're trying to tell me sport cars are legal. But, you know, I've been doing hits with classic, vintage, um, classic sport, cla classic sedans, 
I don't know what's the problem. Why is it so hard to do hits with them? I do hits with AKs, pump shotguns, regular snipers. I don't use the marksman ever. And they tried telling me that I used the marksman when I did. So yeah, so like I don't understand what they think we're doing and stuff, but we're trying to keep it as legit as possible. People break roleplay all the time. We need to go against them. Sometimes we have to break roleplay. We don't want to, but come on, what are we gonna do when you're hiding off the map? When we've never hit off the map to do any hits at all, we have not hit off the map. The only time you ever seen a video of my members hiding off the map is when they win other families, giving them a taste of their own medicine, and that's it. I can get rid of that video. It doesn't mean anything to us. You understand? <sighs> so yeah, so here I am, just you know. Doing this by myself at first, but then, you know, my members come in little by little like they always do, and they help out, you know? And my members are always ready. My members know the rules and everything. Some of them are new. I teach them as much as I can, but come on. I mean, I'm running a family commission and part of the community here. I mean, you guys are trying to tell me I'm not a community leader, but look at everything I've been through. Look at all the things I managed to handle on my own. I mean, if I'm not a community leader, then who is? Because a lot of you guys have nothing to show for. You have no credentials or nothing. You're all just talk. You're all politicians. You have empty promises and no one cares. You know, you want people to care. You really do, but you're not bringing anything to the community. You're not bringing up ideas. You're not bringing up any type of, you know, suggestions. No, you're just talking out your asses. And mostly about me. All I hear about is me, 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 me in these, in these free modes, in these meetings, in these other families. Like, why is that? I have nothing bad to say about you guys, except for when you piss me off. Like, come on. It was 14 gigantes versus... Haha, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Let me change that up. It was two gigantes versus 14 Corleones. It was a three-hour war I was in. And that whole time, I kept it legit. But what did they do? They used auto shotties. Heavy marksman snipers. Uh, what else? Sport cars. BS. Third-party help. Why do you need third-party help? There was only two or three of us in there. Little by little, we got in there and we took care of business. Now, what you're going to see here is me do a perfect assassination no breaking role play i follow all the rules i don't just make up rules and don't follow them i don't even make them up i make sure you agree to them you guys understand them i don't just say a rule i actually give reason and logic and that's what you guys don't do so let's enjoy this assassination as you can see you know i do a little slow motion effect with the flash and then there he is running just shot him, but I don't know if he missed for some reason. He's looking for me, but he doesn't know where I am. And then there you go, he ducked again. Oh, he's quick. Let's see him jump over that ledge. Oh, bad idea, pal. Bad idea. Boom, dropped his ass. Now, I'm on this rooftop here. I'm stuck. So, you know, and then we fade back in. Boom. Right? Everything's good. Now, I'm stuck in the here, and, you know, I'm trying to get out or whatever, but... I think they blew up my helicopter or something. It's not there no more. It's gone. So I'm like, shit, where's my helicopter at, you know? And I can't find it or anything like that. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me just, you know, wait to see if one of my members could help me. And, you know, I'm up here. I want to get JC, you know, because JC's the guy I want. Like, he's the one talking shit. Yeah, my members got him and everything, but it means more when I get him. But, you know, of course, he's going to hide under the building and not only does he hide under the building, but he decides to do something really sneaky. I know about this because I've done this before. I can't lie. But I haven't done it like that. I only do it to people that break roleplay. People that break roleplay, they need to get taught a lesson. So sometimes I might have done this, but I haven't done this in a long time. Now, understand that he told me himself that he didn't do this. That he was four blocks away. But I'm pretty sure if you look at the map, he's right below me. And if not, he's right there. The one in the white dot. That's him. Or is it the one that's blinking? No, it's the one that's blinking, the red dot. He told me he was four blocks away, so there's no way he could have done this. So I'm like, you guys are probably wondering what it is that he did. And you're going to see, and you're going to laugh about it. And I'm going to break it down to you how this is, like, not just a regular person, but this is actually something he did. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. He called an airstrike in. He tried telling me he didn't do it. I was like, all right, fine, you know, say what you want, but I got the proof. And there you go. Look at this jet right here. Look at this jet. Slow motion. There's anybody's hiding off the map. No jet appears on the map. And for some reason, it happens to go exactly where he was. It fires its three missiles or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. None kill me, of course. And then afterwards, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And then one of my fellas, you know, they come over here and they give me a lift, you know. It took a while. But they finally give me a lift. And then I'm out of here, you know. 
And don't get me wrong, I want them to do an assassination from the helicopter. Which you guys know you can do now. You go in the back of the helicopter, you pull out the sniper, and go for that hit. There's nothing more challenging. And I'm like, you know, why, don't, why are not people bringing this up? It's because people don't want to do challenges. People don't want anything to be complex. They want everything to be simple, easy, shortcuts. That's bullshit. Because that's not what this community is about. This community is about creating challenge. Creating a certain type of task, a job. Assassinations should not come that easy. And they didn't. This was kind of difficult. I mean, come on. About 11 minutes, here I am trying to snipe whoever I can. It wasn't easy, but, you know, I'm just trying to make it more challenging. I'm trying to do things that no one else is doing. I'm trying to break those barriers, you know? These people are trying to tell me they're hiding off the map. You're never going to see where they're coming from. But let's be honest. I sniped that kid. There's other people in the, fa in the family that's in the game and stuff, and they didn't do anything. Now, this is another problem. People are parachuting. This is not mafia at all, but you got to understand something. It is part of the game. It's given to us and stuff. No one has brought it up at all, really. I think one person says something about it, but until then, this was legit. Here he comes shooting at me. I don't know what happened, but that was a perfect shot. Didn't make it. Went into my apartment. Boom. And that's that. All right. I don't know what else to say about this assassination. I mean, everything went perfect. You know, I just gave you a fucking a replay or, you know, I just described everything that just occurred. And I am probably might be doing these, uh, what's it called, these commentaries. I don't mind doing them, but it's just the problem is, like, do you guys really want to hear me talk for 11 minutes or you just want to hear some nice music and see somebody get whacked or a TDM or something? But I'm going to try to do these more, right? Go into my car, play some music, make it very theatrical. But that's it, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this assassination done by me. Thank you, I'm Don Gio Gigante, wonderful community. Ciao.